Um, I'm doing a continuation today of um, a native piece. Uh, so I've started at the top with um, like a portrait of a, of a native lady with a um, wolf headdress on. Um, then I started an Indian chief, um, which we're going to be finishing today. I've just got finished the headdress, headdress off, which is sort of around the elbow area um, and the back of the arm. And then if we've got time, we'll get started on the inside. But yeah, proper enjoyable piece. So, so is it first day back? No, I'll come back on Tuesday. Oh yeah, I did see it actually. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I hate listening to myself. I've been watching the wedding video as well. I hate listening to myself speak. It's horrible, isn't it? Oh, it's just minging. Yeah. Absolutely minging. And yeah. I've, I've said a couple of bits from as well. I think I went to say a modern day love story. And I was like, a modern day love story. <laughs> I was like, speech? Yeah. I thought it was good. I yeah. thought it was really confident. Oh, mate, I was absolutely breaking it. Yeah. I've got to do a speech at um, Scott's. Oh, yeah. When's that? September. Yeah, I was alright till I got up and my legs went. I went out, I thought I had to shake. And I went out and I went. I thought well, I let my legs out. I looked my legs out and then my arms started shaking. I was like, oh my god. Yeah, proper. Freaking it, man. Oh, once dude. you get the first couple of laughs, whatever, you feel better and relaxed. Relax a bit. Yeah, big time. Yeah. So, what are you doing today? Um, Indian Chief today. Mm -hmm. um, finishing it off, I started on the forearm with a cover up, but I just got to finish off the headdress and then we're going to get started on the inside if we can. Oh, nice. Like a native sleeve. as it gets further around the back of the arm, but it's all right. <laughs> down it, down it. <laughs> I just, I can't take it. it. Yeah, I just got weird. I literally had to have like little bits of it. Yeah, yeah they put it in the fridge and then my missus come on and I was still like, <laughs> <"Mars>, I'm, <laughs> I'm dying around the house. house. Like, I'm out of <laughs> I was, I, I didn't even finish it. I had to literally, it was like a cocaine addiction or something. I'm going to have a word with Sam. And Sam, 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 Sam's fella is a hairdresser, and I'm going to ask him if he can dye this bad boy grey. I think it's going to look really good. <laughs> wow. What colour are you going? You wait, this will be grey. Fuck off, will it? <laughs> that is looking so good, though. Oh, I'm loving this, too. That yeah, is this is powerful. Awesome. I'm loving this one. Yeah, mate. So then wolves, that wolf from the trees to go on the inside, tuck in oh, behind yeah. everything inside here. Yeah. Just feel like sort of what are you going to do up the top then? Uh, we're going to go with an eagle, eagle, like an eagle. Oh, yeah, I think nice. we'll do a close up of the portrait of it as well, or something possibly. Yeah, it's Get a good face in there nice and big. I love the sizes that you use as well, yeah. just filling it up. Yeah, yeah. 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 I used to make the mistake detail. going too small and you've got an awkward gap, ain't yeah. you? you exactly. just go massive you've only got to fill it with something. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Like a bit of whatever. Yeah. So you might as well just fill it up with quality pictures. I just think that's quality. So we're just thinking maybe we'll try and get a picture of that. I just think ultimately we need six six quality pictures for the event. And yeah. you know, I just think jump on it. It's funny. Thank you. See you in a bit, mate. See you in a bit. Thank you. Bye bye. Now we've got a few guest spots coming in. Um, from all over the world, actually. Exciting, isn't it? From Espanol. Espa lots from Spain. <laughs> Harry likes them from Spain. <laughs> I do like a Spanish. When did you say the first um, guest spot is coming? Uh, end of April. Yeah, so that's pretty soon, isn't it? And there's definitely going to be like 100% at least one or two days when all the other guys are in. We all done then? Oh, yeah, all done, mate. How's it looking? Yeah, it's looking cool. Oh yeah, nice. Love it. Yeah. Good work, yeah, Scott. Boy. Cheers, mate. Um, yeah, he's done. So we've got this finished today, and he's done cover up down this side, which has been worked out really, really well. Um, started off as a wolf theme tattoo, and Scott sort of gave me a lot of the ideas, and then come up with this chief, which I'm really, really pleased with. So it's amazing. And we got that obviously that he's done before. So yeah, I was really excited to get it finished. To be fair, it's quite hard when you've leave, left it halfway, and. Uh, yeah, just look forward to getting it all done and look forward to the next piece now too. But yeah, cover up, cover ups work really, really well. Um, yeah, chuff with it. Yeah, it's smart, isn't it? Yeah, nice. nice. Cover up, it's brilliant. Oh, oh, that's yeah. worked. Yeah. I'm doing 
some peonies and some chickpeas. Um, it's pretty cool. It's like a really fine lined sort of design. Um, so I'll be using my single liner um, needle essentially. I'm just going to be using um, standard black and a bit of white as well for highlight. Um, but yeah, it's just pretty straightforward. Nice little bit of dot work. Hello, I've got a tattoo at half ten with Olivia. Yes. Uh, so it'll be going diagonally on like the bicep. I think this is probably going to be a bit too big, but I'm going to resize it so it sits nice for her arm. Uh, I hope it's going, if it diagonals like down a little bit. Sort of more like that. Yeah, I think yeah. So, yeah. Um, so I'm having um, some like flowers on my arm. I've got like a peony in the middle um, with some sweet peas and some little like foliage coming off it. Um, it's all in like black and it's like dot work, really like fine lines and I'm getting it because I got um, a voucher as a present and it's my birthday tomorrow so the final amount is being paid for my birthday. <laughs> they go ham. They go fucking ham. What is ham? Ham, they go dude, fucking dude, sick. Old. Oh, I'm proper old, I don't even know what ham is. <laughs> no, that's bad. They go absolutely wild. They go ham. <laughs> I'm gonna be. Uh, the worst thing is when you're getting old and you say for something like that. It's just cringy, isn't it? I can't really, I'm, I'm past that point where I can actually say they go ham. <laughs> There's no ham going in that one. Yeah, I've still got a little bit left to do, but I quite like it like this. <laughs> it's not been too bad. It stings a little bit, but. Um, so yeah, it went really well. Um, client wanted it really light and really pretty, so yeah, here we go. Um, it's gone literally better than I could have imagined when Louis sent the design yesterday. I was so happy and then it's just turned out even better, so I'm really happy. And it didn't hurt too much either. <laughs> video from the website, the new website, so I'm just watching that quickly, because he's asked me some questions. Is that? Um, it's ice cream for him. <laughs> So this guy's basically, he's like basically a rocket scientist. I am. He's basically, he, oh, he is a rocket scientist. Well, I'm a qualified astrophysicist. Well, there you go, some um, of that. Don't do that anymore. Woohoo! I love it! No, now we just have buses instead. Astrophysicist getting a tattoo. Well, there is another one we're planning on doing, so but cool. I can't say because there's an NDA. And if you film it and put it on, I'll get shot. Wow. Oh, fuck we can turn the camera I mean... off, I'll tell you about it. <laughs> that is so cool. Sparks. Is that yeah, up for a bit that Marcus? Go on tour. Monumental bus. Monumental the bus. monumental movement. Hashtag monumental bus. Oh. <laughs> that would actually be double cool, wouldn't it? You end up with people like this in the chair that you least expect and it's the most interesting conversation yeah. ever. And and it just goes to show you, you know, when you try and stereotype people with tattoos that you, it's rubbish, basically. I don't own a motorbike. I don't know how long it does go. Like. It's one of the things I used to love about tattooing, like the people, you know, like yeah, you're getting you to mean. do the things like you, you know, you get proper excited about doing a design. So you're doing something you, you love, and then you also get to have like great chats, great conversation, great banter all day. It's like a win-win. I love it that it looks really random, but it's so specific. How's that feeling? Good. If good means hurt. Okay, so um, we finished. 
and it's amazing. I couldn't be happier with the work. Sam is insanely good. Look at the line work, look at the colours. It's amazing. I'm really keen on colour, near traditional style, so yeah, I think it's turned out great. And it's such a, it means something, so it's really cool. Yeah, up until the white, um, it, it didn't even really hurt that much, um, but the white was quite painful. Um, but you did it with care, it was kind. Um, so I'm very, very happy with this. It's superb work. Um, and of course it means so much to me that uh, it's always going to be there, but then and it's not. If you need to hide it, now it is. hide it. <laughs> yes, that's it. Not true. You got the rhythm of your heart if you want to. You got the rhythm of your heart if you want to. You got the rhythm of your heart. Back pain, that's yes. one thing I can say. Back pain. Can you change my back? No. Mm. Yeah, tattoo is going well. Very well. I'm happy with it so far. I'm a jack of all trades, master of none. To, to the point, really. Yeah, so I work at Tesco's part time. I teach English in the summer, to, in the summer schools in Clacton. Um, I deliver Chinese food Thursday and Saturday nights. I want to do creative stuff as well, so I sort of write short stories for iBooks and produce a little bit of electronic music. We've got a few songs on iTunes, yeah, but that's more of a hobby. Yeah, so all together, yeah, I keep busy. So I don't even know how I found time to have a day setting, really, really. <laughs> a day session, yeah. Busy man. Good to be busy, though. I love key skills. <laughs> Um, finding that a trolley coin could be, I mean people will use it, won't they? Do you use trolley coins? I do use trolley coins. Do you really? Yeah. Oh, well there you go, look. Do you use trolley coin, Richard? Okay, Whop it out? You, you are? I can't risk it. No, we'll carry a basket. Oh, I can't risk it. I'm not risking losing my bags. There is a trolley coin. Yeah. That could be a go though. What about, um, did you manage to get any much stuff to go in the bags? I'm just struggling to think. Yeah. I need to maybe go into Colchester. And just go around steam some, in a few shops. Go around some places. Yeah. I think just leave that till last thing. Because mm. worst case scenario, we don't give a bloody bag away. So we can leave that as like last week. Maybe you can just, yeah, bug off up town one day. And, but there's more important things. I mean, I'd rather your headspace be in the things that really matter. Yeah. Rather than trying to make up a bag for people who probably just chuck it in the bin when they go. Okay. <laughs> and while you're in town, if you happen to see some geezer who's just like whopping it out. <laughs> just, uh, get his number. Yeah, get his number. There are parts of town where you will definitely see. <laughs> <laughs> How do you know that, Richard? <laughs> he knows a lot about strange things. <laughs> <laughs> that is a big old melon you got there, to be fair. It took me so long to find a snowball, it's like so freakishly low. It's 57 centimetres. I'm really just stopping. So I had to measure it. It knows the exact size of the It's because I was like blown away. It's like the large, next large ones are all like 52, 53 centimetres. Stupid head. <laughs> <laughs> stop it, stop it. See that. So yeah, it went very well. Uh, very happy with it. Did really good time as well. Um, it's really nice and smooth. Smooth shading, nice contrast. I love it. Yeah, so absolutely delighted with it. Most amazing piece. Um, so happy with it. Couldn't have gone any better. Work of art, if I do say so myself. Hi, I'm at Monumental Inc. to get my first tattoo of two otters. Um, it's going to be black and black and grey, <laughs> just dot work and line work. 
Um, it's just something that I've always wanted, so yeah, I'm really excited. Um, so I'm just doing two little otters today, um, Lincoln Arms, it's a really cute piece. Um, it's got Isla and her mum, as she just told me. And it's going to be in dot work, and I'm just mainly using black and maybe a little bit of white for highlights. How's the pain? It's alright. It's not that bad. <laughs> It's bearable. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's bearable, like, it's worth it. I was really nervous, but it's like, it's actually okay. Like, now I'm really used to it. It's alright. Once you get, like, the first line done, the yeah. like, nervousness goes away completely. Yeah. Like... Ooh, so, you're all done. Yeah. I think you're so much. I'm going to look at it. It's crazy. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I think it went really well. Isla's really happy with it. It looks really cute. So it's finished now and it looks exactly how I wanted and I love it and it's, it went really well. Those eyes. Yeah, came out pretty good. That is so good. That is so good. I love the colours. Yeah, you're gonna love it. I can't see it, so. <laughs> <laughs> what I've seen of it, I absolutely love. Yeah. It's so good. But yeah, so so how do you think it went today? It went really well. Um, colours are looking absolutely fantastic. Aggie's done another wonderful job. It took a little bit longer than I thought it will because of blending all the colours. Um, I've added a nice contrast background behind the whole portrait so it makes it stand out a little bit more. And yeah, I've got a nice set of skin tone colours that make a nice full realistic effect on the face. I'm really happy how it turned up um, and yeah um, I can't wait to see it, he see it healed actually. How was your tattoo today, mate? Yeah, man, really good. Yeah. The colours are really good. Sick. Yeah, yeah, I was a little bit worried because it was um, like so specific, mm. but it turned out really well. Yeah, yeah man, cool. What's yours? Yeah, all right. Done two little waters, they're cute as fuck. Oh, yeah. yeah they come out really nice, so yeah, pretty buzzing about. Sick. So, guys, how'd it go today? Yeah, yeah good. Man. Good, Sweet. yeah? Really good. Yeah, pretty cool. Yeah. yeah, got some nice bits done. No one passed out? Almost. No. <laughs> right, my first she did, didn't she? Almost, almost a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah, first couple of lines. Nice. Yeah. What have you got tomorrow? Um, can't remember. Yeah, I can't I've remember got an right right day now. session tomorrow. I've no. got a compass in and I'm continuing a sleeve. What is it? It's like a combination. It's yeah. loads of different things. Like, like there's like another like specific one. He's got loads of really specific elements. He's got like a tiger, mm. a skull, poppies. A Did Yorkshire the, rose. Um, was that the one with the bike? The yeah, he Polaroid. wanted a bike in it, so I basically made a Polaroid picture mm. and put a bike in the picture instead oh, of nice. just having like a bike popping out of Love the innovation. Yeah. Yeah, it's cool, man. That's what I'm here for. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> nice. Alright, guys, good work. Yeah. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, bye bye. See you later. Bye.